Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, you're gonna love it. I'm sharing all of my teacup collection, china, ornaments, everything shabby chic and ornate and tiny. I know this video may not be for everybody, but I do know that my teacup lovers, you are gonna love this video. I'm gonna share all of my tips for buying like secondhand china, where I buy my china a little bit cheaper, how I clean and take care of my china, how I display my china, and most importantly, how I stop Blondie from breaking all of my china. Today, I actually, it's my day off from work and I have to clean my china. Um, so if you've watched any of my previous videos, like my house tours, my living room tour, you may have seen that I have, I collect teacups and all things cute, but they do come with a little dust. So I do have to clean them every kind of 12 weeks, every quarter I clean them. So I'm gonna clean them today and show you how I take care of them, but I thought it would make a really good video to actually talk about china teacups um, so I know some people may not like this video but I hope you do enjoy it and enjoy how I show them as decor in the house and if you are a new viewer please do hit that subscribe button down below and do check out some of my other videos and you'll get a feel for kind of my style of decor so we are in the living room now. You can check out my living room um, house tour or living room room tour video. Um, I'll leave it linked below. But this is the room where I have most of my china collection because I treat them as a piece of decor. Um, I have a display behind me and I have a china cabinet which I'm gonna go through in detail, show you what collections I have. But I just wanted to start the video with maybe showing you how I use them as decor in my house. So behind me I have an Ikea unit, which I can't think of the name, but I'm gonna slot it down below for you so you can find it. This is actually a kitchen shelving unit and I used it just as a shelf for my teacups. I do find it hard to find really nice shelves to show teacups on. I do have an idea in my head for what I want to display teacups, but I think I'm gonna have to give it to someone to make it for me. Um, I want to make something like little boxes so I can put my teacups in it and it'll look really nice. I also use teacups on my fireplace as a little decorative piece because the pieces that I have on my fireplace are the Royal Albert New Country Rose collection and they're pink with little flowers, they're also white and I love the way the colour matches the wallpaper. My favourite thing about the living room is just all my kind of knickknacks and trinkets and I love that when you come in my hallway and in my entrance that you can see the living room straight away and that you can see my like china cabinet and my wall shelf um, and then you can see kind of my like china collection and that they just blend in as a part of decor. This is the IKEA wall shelf and this is the china I'm going to be washing today. It's been on display and I'm going to give it a wash um, and make it all spick and span and clean. So the pieces on top. That one there is a Miranda Care for Royal Albert and so is that one there and the teapot. The plate at the back is an old vintage second hand plate. Um, I will get the name but I know it's not expensive. Then this and this is New Country Rose by Royal Albert. The purple one in the middle is also a Royal Albert and I got that when it was on sale. At the bottom then, the C and the B, B for Blondie, <laughs> they are from Bombay Duck. They are a company that have been really popular and they sell these mugs and cups and they have your initial on them. And they're really, really popular and I have two teacups, one for me and one for Blondie. Um, then this is a new country rose as well with the plates and then I just have some mugs on the bottom. Um, actually also at the bottom I have this tiny little teacup trinket. This is from Buckingham Palace, not the Buckingham Palace but their gift shop that's right beside it. But if you are flying, um, I got this in actually in the airport. Um, there is a Harrods in Gatwick Airport which is where I picked up this tiny teapot and there is also a tiny little teacup as well and they're just on a I love these Royal Albert mugs as well. These are really nice. I love the pattern on them and they're not too expensive compared to the teacups. And then they are just two cat kits and mugs as well. So in the china cabinet it can do I having a bit of a clean up. I just have some more older pieces of china. I keep my favourite on display and then I just have the ones that I still love but they're not my favourites in the china cabinet. Um, up here this is New Country Rose as well but there's also new, okay so this is I think it's called Cheeky Pink, it's Royal Albert and so is the blue. In the living room I have most of my Royal Albert pieces and then in the other rooms um, I have just kind of other collections. 
This teapot here is one of my favourites because this was the first teapot I bought myself. Um, my first proper one and I was saving for ages and I kind of reward myself every time I kind of do something that I'm proud of with a piece of china and I remember I was really proud of it after achieving something so I went down and I got myself this little teapot um, and it's a new country rose as well and I just love it. Matching sugar bowl one Christmas and I also have the milk jug which is just here. I got the milk jug. I bought that myself. I think it was like a Christmas treat to myself. Um, so I really like that. And then the spoons were also a present. I don't know if you can see the little spoons. I love them. Um, my little brother got me them for Christmas one year. So over here I have a sleeping blondie. <laughs> and I wanted to share some new additions um, to the teacup collection which came this week. Which are just sitting on the table here. Blondie's not happy because I woke her up. Do you want to say hi to YouTube today, Blondie? That's the look of, you just woke me up and I'm disgusted. <laughs> Nanai Blondie. So these little guys have been causing mass hysteria over in the Ireland and UK. So this is the Disney collection for pennies, which is Primark. Um, there is some Primarks over in the US. I think there's one maybe in New York, Chicago. Don't quote me, but I'm sure if you check their website, they'll be able to give you a list of stockists. So this week I was able to get my hands on the Mrs. Potts teapot. So basically Chip came out earlier in the summer and he was only six euro, the teapot was 14 and this is the Mrs. Potts money box which is, I think that was six or eight euro. Um, so they're just really fun to collect but why they're so popular is because first of all they're really good value and second of all they actually look nicer than the Disney ones. Um, so Chip looks nicer than the chip from pennies looks nicer than the chip from disney and um, the disney one kind of looks a little cheap sorry i hate saying that but it did so you have to be quick when these get into pennies because they sell out within the hour um i was really really lucky because i was working the early shift on wednesday and um a lovely lady who works there gave me the tip off so i was able to run down to see if they were there and i was able to get my hands on one so i was really delighted so she is a fully functioning teapot her head comes off and she has a proper spout so she does work. Will I be putting tea in her? No, she's too precious to drink out of. I think she's just gorgeous as an ornament. It's a little money box as well which I think is cute so if you can't get your hands on the teapot the money box is gorgeous. So it just has a little slot there for your money and your change um, and I just think that's just such a pretty ornament. Let's go into the kitchen and I'm going to show you, I have a china cabinet in the kitchen and I have a shelf in the kitchen but I mainly have teapots in the kitchen. But do check out my updated kitchen tour video where I, you can see like all inside my kitchen but I'm going to show you like the china teapots because I love collecting teapots. I actually have a really cute story to tell you about the cat teapot. When I was in London, um, I think it was July, um, I picked up this Cat Kits and Cat teapot um, because I loved it. But right beside it is a teapot, a cat teapot that is really, really old and it belonged to my grandmother. But my grandmother on my dad's side, I was about 12 weeks old when she passed away. So we never, I never properly kind of knew her as a person, nothing like that. But then I found this cat teapot um, in her collection and it was actually like in my old house um, and found that and I was like oh my god how weird is that that like we both have like like how many years later I bought like a t cat teapot and then she had one in her collection so I just thought it was kind of a just a cute little thing. As well as teapots, I love like random jugs. This was in my Home Sense haul um, from earlier in the year. It was from Home Sense, I think it was 16 99 I loved it because it looked like this designer um, pottery. Sophie, I can't think of the name, um, but it was a cheaper version, but it had the little bumblebees on it. That's why I really, really liked it. This rabbit teapot, I actually remember buying this. Each teapot and each bit of china has a story. Um, I was working last Stevens' Day, which is the day after Christmas Day. And if you work in retail, it's a really busy day. Um, it was so stressful that I decided to go shopping on my lunch break and I came home with this rabbit teapot. Just as a reward for getting through such a hard day. <laughs> so I, that's one of my little favourite ones and I do look at it and kind of smile. This little duck. 
This is actually just a normal teapot with a cat kiss and duck tea cosy and I got this on another trip to London, um, a separate trip to when I bought the cat teapot and um, this was just a little treat. Um, anytime I treat myself it's like I think I was rewarding myself for just getting on the plane by myself um, so I got myself a little souvenir and that's just a tea cosy and it's cat kitchen as well and I love it. It's just really really fun. Over here I have a little china cabinet. I got that china cabinet second hand which you will see in my kitchen tour if you want to have a look at that. But inside here I have some china. This is a set from Dunn Stores. I find Dunn Stores is a really good and inexpensive like you can get some really nice pieces of china and um, this one each piece was if i think it started at like two euro right up to like 20 euro for the cake stand you actually really need to organize this and make it look prettier but just wanted to show you and um, but yeah i think i need to organize this a bit better my friend Michelle got me this little, this is actually a Royal Albert cottage little ornament. It's from Old Country Rose. I love this, um, first of all because it's from my friend Michelle, but my goal is to one day have a pretty little cottage all by itself. So this little ornament is almost like the dream. This is, this is all I want in life is a cute cottage like this with flowers coming out of the roof. Um, so yeah, this means a lot. Now, I actually think this needs to go in my living room um, with the others um, because it's too cute to be sitting in that cabinet. This little teapot is one of my faves. This is, I love like house ones or you see some teapots and they're like little shops. Um, you'll stumble across them in like vintage shops. It's a real like old kind of thing. Some of the second hand ones, there was like a trend for having like little teapots that were houses. This teapot is from Debenhams, the same designer as the one, the rabbit teapot that I just showed. Um, really, really sweet. They do kind of sell out quick, I noticed, because I did want to go back and get, they had a biscuit tin, and I did want to go back and it was gone. So um, Debenhams is where that one is from. Here I have a little biscuit house and this is from Next. This also came in a teapot version again. I was raging I didn't buy that as well, but I, they were very similar so I went for the biscuit house instead and I really really like this one. Go to the office, my spare bedroom, master bedroom and I'm just going to walk you in and show. I have teacups in every room of the house um, and I do have plans to buy more teacups because I'm obsessed with them and I just need to get more like shelving and displays. Um, but yeah, I do have them in every room. Um, just not loads in every room, just one or two pieces in every room because it kind of just flows throughout the house down decor wise. Office, I have a set that I got last Christmas. This is from Marks and Spencers. You won't be able to get this, it is out of stock. However, they do similar versions because I know this year they had um, a real, during summertime they had a real art deco style. Um, teacup collection and it was really really nice. On top I just have another teacup collection it's from Dunn Stores it's Carolyn Donnelly. I also just have some like thank you cards um, in the office because they just keep me going. Also the brackets on my shelves are rotten I do want to replace them um, and I do have plans to get rid of them. Ugly brackets. Um, we have another sleeping cat. It wouldn't be a YouTube video on my channel if there wasn't an appearance from Pepsi. This, this cat that is not mine but insists on living. I remember seeing my tea trolley which was also a gin hack. Um, you can see them videos below. So I just have this tea trolley in here. This is my guest bedroom which I also have a room tour if you want to go check that out. This tea set is Rose Confetti by Royal Albert and I got this second hand. I got this off a buy and sell site and I got it for 50 euros and it was the teapot, the milk, milk jug and sugar bowl um, which I was delighted with upstairs I love kind of little ornamental things um, like this mirror. This mirror is from TK Maxx and I think it was only 15 euros and I just love really cute shabby chic ornate ornaments like that. Master bedroom I do have some teacups. I haven't done a master bedroom room tour but I do have plans. I'm just waiting to get some work done up here but I do have some teacups and if you follow me on Instagram you will see pictures of my master bedroom. On my monk's bench I just have this little teacup. This was one of my first teacups. This is a lottery bag that or lottery, I can never pronounce it. Um, I have a little key ring in here. I love just collecting things, <laughs> cute things. Um, and in here I have a key ring that I got in Paris when I went in February. Also love keeping the little boxes. Um, 
I do keep some of the Royal Albert boxes because they're just really pretty but this is gorgeous um, and I'll show you the little keyring inside. This in the airport in Paris, um, I think it was roughly 30 euro and it's like a bag charm. Again, I don't use it as a bag charm, I just have it. I do think I'll put this out on display though, um, I'm not going to keep it in the bag. I'm going to find somewhere nice to display this. And it has the little lottery um, tag on it, the little macarons and an Eiffel Tower. And you can get these in different colours. I went for this colour combo because I love the red. In my last bedroom, I just have a little table. Now I have this set up just from when I was filming my like autumn haul video. But I do keep this as a little display with some frames and a little teacup. Um, and yeah, whenever I buy some more teacups, I want to get some displays done up in this bedroom. Okay, so that's it for deco. Now I'm going to tell you where I buy them from, how I get them a little bit cheaper, and secondhand tips just for buying new china. Okay, so if you are buying them from a shop, always, I know it sounds so simple, but always wait for a sale because a lot of the Royal Albert are stocked in like department stores. So you've got House of Fraser, you've got Debenhams, um, you, they do have them online and um, they have like their own website. However, I find it better to buy them. Arnott's as well sell them. So when they have these events on, it could be a home weekend event, 20% off everything. A lot of the time the Royal Alberts could be 10 or even 20% off. So if you know what pieces you want and you have the patience to wait, do wait. Um, coming up to kind of like Christmas, there's loads of events, but there'll just be some like at summertime, sign up to all the department stores who you know stock what you want and get their little newsletters and get notifications when they're gonna have discounts. Another tip is play the currency game, which I do. So as London is just a hop on a plane away and I do be there um, with blogging and with work sometimes, I wait and if I know I have an upcoming trip to London, the sterling has been in our favour. Um, so it is a little bit cheaper to then buy your stuff in sterling. And a big tip is if you are flying into Gatwick Airport, that's where I got a lot of my Royal Albert teapots. I got them in sterling and there does be like they're 10% cheaper than Harrods um, that is in London City. Buying second hand, I got lucky a few times with people getting gifts as presents for weddings and they then sell them online because they're not into it um, and they just want to get rid of them. Best place I've gotten lucky is adverts.ie, it's an Irish second hand selling site. Done deal is good as well. Um, but I've gotten more off adverts and I have a search alert. I don't have it at the moment. There's no search alerts on my phone because I've no room for more teacups until I make storage. But I have gotten lucky if you are quick and you have a search alert every time something for Royal Albert or teacup or tea set comes up, you'll get a notification, you can see what's there and you can get in there straight away. I got really lucky with the rose confetti set that's in the guest bedroom. I got that for 50 euro, um, a third of the price. Um, so yes, yeah, search alerts and adverse study and done deal in America is probably like Craigslist or also Facebook buy and sell groups. Maybe put out a wanted post as well as a um, commenting on other people's. Why not put out an ad saying wanted, I want your unused china. Charity shops, I did not have much luck. I don't think I've ever found any that I've liked in a charity shop. Um, but definitely looking online, don't rule charity shops out because they get so much like bric-a-brac, ornaments, everything. So do try your local charity shops. A lot of these charity shops now have Facebook pages, so there's no harm in even being friendly with the owners and just saying, guys, if you get some china in, I'm collecting them, please give me a mail. Um, there's a lot to be said for being nice and they will um, get in touch and give you the first dibs on the china. Another little tip as well is, so a lot of people know I collect china, so especially girls who I work with, friends and family. So a lot of, a few times I've had people saying we were clearing out um, somebody's house and we found china in the attic, um, would you like it or they might keep one or two pieces from it and say oh we're throwing out the rest. Um, so that's a great way as well, once people know you're into that and say oh people hate throwing them out, they like to pass them on to someone who's going to appreciate it. So that's another tip as well, it's just put the word out there, hey guys. I'm collecting china. They might come to you straight away, but it could be a few months down the line, they're clearing out a house and it's like, oh, that dainty one, she loves the china. Here's my biggest tip for saving money, and it's don't buy it just because it's cheap. So I, in the past, have bought china because it was cheap, but I've ended up 
it didn't fit in with my decor or what I wanted to collect and I've ended up giving it away or using it for craft items. Um, so I have in my head and on my Pinterest boards clear idea of what I like and what I like to buy. So I love collecting Royal Albert Rose Confetti and all of the cute Royal Albert stuff. I don't have any of the old country rose. I don't collect that yet because I've no space but I would like to. So. I don't want to buy that yet so I stick in my head blinkers on to what I like and if there's a tea set that's really really cheap I stay away from it unless it's something that matches my decor and um, I don't buy it then so save money by not buying crap basically just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's valuable or like it's, it's going to be of value to you you might end up throwing it out down the long run um, because it's not what you wanted. I generally collect teacups that have the pink and pink and rose flowers on them. Um, so when I see a pattern coming available that's like that, I'll like strike and buy it. That's my top tips for buying China. Basically, be patient, know what you want, search alerts, wait for the sales, patience, patience, patience. It's fun at the end of the day collecting all this China. I, I think I have more fun building it. Like the journey of building my China collection is more fun than if I had a thousand euro and I went out and bought it, if that makes sense. And I know people who collect things get the same buzz when they get a new piece for their collection. Another random question I got asked was, Dainty, if you don't drink out of your teacup, so I think I mentioned in another video that I like to keep the teacups perfect. I actually don't drink out of them. Um, and yeah, that's fine, each to their own. But they were like, well, what do you drink out of? And I drink out of a good old mug this is my current favourite. This is from Penny's, which is Primark. Um, six euro, I can fit about two cups of tea in it. And yeah, I drink out of a bucket of tea, um, tea or coffee. So I don't actually sit drinking out of trying to tea cups and teapots. They're just my little love to collect and my little trinkets. Um, I do drink out of a mug. Another question is, when did you start and why? Where does this whole teacup collecting come from? Okay, I think it comes from when I was a kid. First of all, I started collecting them when I bought my house and when I moved in. I didn't collect them when I lived at home because I had nowhere to put them. Um, and then when I was younger, I, would, I had this obsession with things, small things ornaments when I was a kid I used to I don't know if you guys remember these or if you had them um poly pockets they were tiny little toys they were so small I, I don't even know if they're like safe to play with now she would have a little kitchen it would open up it could be like a ring box or something she would have a tiny little kitchen in it and she was this teeny tiny little ornament I was obsessed with things like that and like all of the little tiny Sylvanian family things all those little ornaments and tiny dolls so I think it was in me already at a young age and then as I became an adult and had my own house I was like oh I'm like a magpie but for china not metal or shiny things china so yeah I've always loved things ornaments teacups china vase like just anything trinkets cute I've all, I, I just love it so before I get into the last part of this video which will be talking about cleaning and caring for my china um, I thought I'd talk about the question I get asked the most is blondie Pepsi, the cats who visit, how do they not demolish your house? Short answer is, I don't know, in theory they should. Blondie, I think, was like a cup collector in a previous life. Um, so basically, cats love to climb and be up high, and Blondie does love to climb, and she will climb on top of the fireplace, but she tiptoes around them. I'll try to get her on film doing it, because she has not broke anything and she has been my pet like almost four years now. She hasn't broke a thing. Um, Pepsi is old. Those of you who've watched my other videos will know Pepsi is not my cat but she lives here. Um, and she hasn't broken anything either. She does kind of jump up on the kitchen table but that's as far as she doesn't go up high. She just wants to sleep and live a simple life. Um, a tip is I know a lot of my friends who do collect as well. They use blue tack, so they use a blue tack. I don't know what you call that in America if it's called blue tack, but like the sticky stuff. And they stick their teacups down. Another tip for anybody who has kids my nephew Jack is walking and he looks like a drunk man. So he's one and he's like a wobbly little man walking around. Um, keep everything up high. 
I do think you can still have your tiny teacups and have kids as well. Um, I don't have kids, but common sense would be put them all up high where they can't reach them for now. Um, a lot of my china, you will notice it's up high on a shelf. So if it's in the kitchen, it's on a shelf. The living room is kept really high. Um, and it's I, I purposely done that to keep it away from the cats. Um, so nothing is really at eye level. So if you have kids, keep your china away from eye level. Maybe try some blue tack. Um, and if your cat is not because I know cats I see all the funny cat videos where like they'll be something on the edge of the table and they just knock it off Blondie doesn't do that I'm blessed basically I'm blessed okay cleaning the china um it's not as bad as you think because I did have a few comments on my living room for a video where people were like how do you dust and clean all of that first of all white things people think, oh, that'll get dirty really quick. It's actually the opposite. If you have black and dark colored things, they show dirt more quickly, just from experience in the house. Anytime I've had something dark in color, you see the dust quicker. Um, so I tend to clean them properly, deep clean, taking them all down, putting them in the sink in warm soapy water. I do that every quarter. So spring, summer, autumn, winter. Then on a kind of weekly basis, I just kind of, with my little furry duster, just go around them. That's literally, as I'm cleaning, um, I don't even notice I do it now. You're looking at, if even five minutes, I have a routine when I clean, it's like hoover, mop, and then a little bit of dust and wiping down counters, and it's just part of my little cleaning ritual. So it's not as bad as you think, and yeah, every quarter I give them a deep clean, which is what I'm gonna do now. So, the best way to clean them I have found, because I don't want to mark them, is because I have like a Belfast sink, it's that kind of ceramic, I don't want them to chip off the sink. So I get a bucket that has warm soapy water in it. I literally just use washing up liquid and I dump them in, give them a wipe, little rinse and put them on the drainer. Then I just give them a little dry and I put them back on display. I don't use any harsh chemicals and I don't put them in a dishwasher. I actually don't have a dishwasher, but I don't use any harsh chemicals when cleaning them because I don't want the little patterns to strip off them, especially if they are, if it's a vintage china tea set, um, I don't want to damage them in any way. So literally warm soapy water in a bucket. Um, I think if you have a metal sink or ceramic, I don't want them to chip and I don't throw them all in either, God forbid, that sends shiver down my spines. I don't throw them in literally one at a time, like in, clean, out and give them a dry back on display. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's pretty niche if you're not into teacups in China. I don't know if this video will be for you, but I really hope you guys did enjoy it. And yeah, I hope I've answered all the kind of China teacup questions, but I missed out on anything. Comment below and I'll reply to you. Um, and I'll, I'll answer your questions. Don't forget to give me a follow down below. I leave all my social media stuff so you can follow me on the likes of Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in next week's video.